Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Okai Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Dodge Journey, guys, and you have a code P0118, okay, the symptoms are your temperature gauge will not work, okay, coolant temp sensor, and also radiator fan will be blowing on high all the time. Stay with us, guys, and we'll diagnose and show you how to figure out what's wrong with your car. We will have more than 200 videos on this uh, Dodge Journey, so please, guys, subscribe to the channel. Our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can by teaching you guys how to fix your car for free. Now, I'll go inside, start the car and listen what is happening now. Okay, let me poke the scanner in quick to be ready for the diagnostics. Okay, and if I start the car... Okay, engine light, engine light, okay, you can see it's on, engine light's on, so I'll go ahead, okay, coolant temp, it doesn't show anything right now, you can see it shows less than 100, temp sensor gauge not working, and I'm going to go ahead and open the hood, okay, before we diagnose, and let me show you now how the fan is on, okay, the radiator fan is on. You can see that fan is on guys, right there. So, I'll go ahead, scan the system now. Okay, this is the scanner guys, you can find it listed in the description of the video below. Really good scanner for a very affordable price. We'll click read codes, and the code that we get P0118 guys, okay right there. Engine coolant temperature sensor 1. And if I go back guys, we can go to the data stream, view all items, and now right here we're going to have a okay, place where it says engine coolant temperature negative 40 degrees. And outside guys, okay, it's only, okay, it's only 45 now, only 45, so you can see it shouldn't be that way. So it says negative 40, that's our problem. So that guys sounds like a faulty temp sensor. We're going to show you where it's located, we'll replace ours. We have a video on the channel that explains how to replace it because you have to drain the coolant and all that stuff. And uh, we'll guys see if that fixes the problem. So coming this way, okay, on that 3.6 engine guys, okay, that sensor is located now. Okay, this is the fan, never stick your fingers there. Okay, this is guys, okay, your temp sensor, okay, right there. Okay, this thing, you can see this is the temperature sensor. So if you need to replace it guys, you need to drain the cool and all that stuff, we'll do that. We have a video on the channel how to do it, check it out. We'll go ahead and replace it and see if that fixes the problem now. So after installing the new sensor, Okay, we are going to go ahead, start the car now. Okay, the car is started. Okay, check out the coolant. Started showing, now it's showing 152 degrees. And if I go back... Okay, I'm going to turn now the, the engine off. We'll turn the ignition on. Okay, you can see the car will not be running. And we're going to erase the codes. Click erase. Perfect. Now we can go ahead start the car. We'll go under data stream. And now our sensor guys is going to show 154 degrees. That's what the car says. Okay, 154. The same thing. So that definitely took care of the problem guys, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.